Hi, welcome back to the Red and Classy Show. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. We're here to talk about Don't Block Your Blessings, which we kind of stole from another YouTuber that we know, Wilderness Tailgate. You should go check their channel out. It's pretty interesting. But, you know, the last couple, six, seven months, it's been a little rocky roller coaster up and down emotionally and stuff like that. Um, we both ended like I would say mine was toxic I wouldn't say hers was toxic because she's still learning some days was toxic but you guys thrived on it and thought it was cool but it's not okay so let me let me explain yeah it wasn't necessarily toxic mm -hmm. yes we did thrive off of I think most toxic situations, it didn't end in a good day, and it didn't stop, like, after we talked about it. Because after we talked about it, we never talked about it again. After we did it, we never done it again. It was not toxic. It was just a learning experience for us. Now, do I love him? Yes. Do I miss him? Yes. But is he happy with someone else? Also, yes. And I'm happy for him. And I will never put him down for finding happiness in someone that he deserves to be happy with. If he was not happy with me, and he he was not happy with me, and he let me know. And I'm glad for that. I'm glad he did not leave me on mm -hmm. whenever he had a girlfriend and had me on the side. I respect him for that. Because a lot of guys have done that to me. Where I would be either the main or the side. But. He. I'll, Unless you're the one and only. Nobody wants that. Me and him are really really good friends. And. I'm not going to ever have anything negative to say about him. Because. He's always been a positive outlook for me. He's never once been negative towards me or anything. Right. He's always been positive. He's always been there for me. I've always been there for him. I would, if he needed me, I was there. Granted, I have lost a lot of friends since I left high school. And that's fine. He's just my best friend and I didn't expect to lose him at all. But if I have to step out of his life. So he can be happy with someone else, I will. Does that kill me? Yes. Do I want him to call me and tell me that he misses me as well? Yeah, I kind of do. I want him to show up randomly and just hug me and tell me everything's going to be fine. But I know while he has a girlfriend, that'll never happen and I can understand why. Too much history. It is, and he has to, we have to have space, and I think this time apart would be good for us, but at the same time, it is not good for me because he has been a constant, and I got used to not being alone anymore, and now I'm alone again. Not um, completely, I'm here most nights. Shush. That's not what I mean. I'm choosing to stay single now and work on myself and not get into a relationship. I'm glad that he can find someone that he truly cares for and loves. I want what's best for him and I want him happy. Yeah. He deserves happiness and love and I hope he gets that with her. And if not, well, he has me as a friend, and I will show him unconditional love and support. As a friend? Yeah, as a friend. I hope one day she learns her worth. It took me a long time to learn mine. I know my worth. Mm -hmm. You're worth more than all the money and the gold in the world. Mama, I know my worth because I didn't go back to my exes. He's technically not my ex, but he does. He's better 
than at least one of my exes. Oh, yeah. Now the other one... He wasn't toxic at all. He was too much of a nice guy, and they bore me. It wasn't that he was boring. It was... It was too healthy for me at the time, and... It really wasn't, because he let her be mean to him, push him around, and he was like a yes man. Um... We like a challenge. We like to be told no. He's my challenge, and honestly... The new guy, yeah. The new guy is a challenge. We're both a challenge for each other. We're difficult for each other. But they too, respect each other. We respected each other a lot. Uh, we respected that we had our challenges, and we had our difficulties, and we had our issues, and... At the end of the day, we could work through our issues, our difficulties, and our problems, and talk about it, and talk through it, and come to some sort of agreement. We had a very good communication system. We were very good for each other, sometimes. Most of the time, honestly. Um, he, even though he didn't want a relationship, he did relationship things with her. Um, he always made sure she was okay. She wasn't feeling well. He would go get her something to eat, something to drink. You know, just took really good care of her. So then when it come to, it's all of a sudden end, it was like a shock to her. It was practically a breakup without it being a breakup. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I don't know if he's really coming back this time or not. And He always does. He I really hope he does. does this time because... Whatever He's my best friend. If you could keep it as just friends, so it would be less complicated. Like yeah, right now. Mm. Maybe one day. But right now, I don't think we can keep it just as friends. Right. But I'm extremely proud of him, though. Even though he did set boundaries. Yeah. Even though people have done us dirty the last seven months. Um, we didn't set out to destroy, or hurt, hurt, or be petty, Mal malicious, Mal maliciously, malicious, nor toxic towards them. We wish them all the best, and we want them to be happy and have a healthy future. We want them to be okay, okay in life. We want them to achieve great things and have great things. And that's what Happy we mean by don't block your blessings. Just because someone wrongs you or does you dirty. Doesn't mean that you have to wrong and do them dirty too. Yeah. It means. So long. Be the bigger person and have your boundaries. And whenever they cross them, explain that you had the boundary. And then why you had to leave them alone because it crossed that boundary. That you specifically specifically place and if they could not respect your boundaries then they shouldn't have stayed you should not go back no it's hard for people to set boundaries most of the time I know it's very hard for me to set boundaries because uh, of my past and the thing is with him I felt so comfortable I didn't really need boundaries because we always communicated so we always knew where we stood with each other right it just took me a shock that he ended it abruptly instead of me being able to see a change in him or anything I didn't see much but I knew it was coming I knew and it hurt because I knew it was coming, but also that I didn't expect it to come. Yeah. But he's happy. And that's all I can wish for and hope for. Right. I want him happy. Thanks for tuning in to the Red and Classy Show. Like, share, share comment, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. And have a blessed night. Mm -hmm.